Hey everybody, Mr. Piercy here, and what we're going to be looking at in this demonstration video is uh, the relationship of the measurements of angles that are made uh, between a chord and a tangent line, so their vertex is going to be on uh, a circle. Uh, so for the demonstration, I'm going to use a uh, compass, a protractor, and a couple of pencils. One of them is a colored pencil, just so that way uh, we can differentiate some of the angles that we're looking at. Uh, to begin with, I'm going to start by making a circle of some kind. Okay. Oh, throw my compass around. And I'm going to make it not super big, not super small, but big enough uh, that we can draw some angles on it and then uh, do some measuring. First thing I'm going to do uh, on the circle, let's go ahead and call this circle X, just so we can have a, a name for it. First thing I'm going to do here really is I want to draw in a central angle. And I'm not trying to make it overly big. We just want to have some kind of a central angle here. And here we'll call this uh, point A and B. Now, recall that the measurement of angle X, the central angle, will be equal to the measurement of arc AB in degrees. So they have the same measurement in degrees. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a chord between point A and B and then I'm going to draw a tangent segment so here I'm going to take this line up my protractor here so that way I can kind of make make sure it's perpendicular to the radius and I'm going to draw a tangent line here and so I'll give myself just a point here and call that point C so now what I want to know is, well, what is the uh, measurement of arc AB and what is the measurement of angle ABC? We want to measure those things and, and uh, we, if we do everything correctly, we should see a relationship between the two uh, measurements. Uh, so let's go ahead and measure arc AB first. So uh, I know, because I've tried this before, that my protractor is too small to measure this angle here. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to just extend angle X out a little bit so that way my protractor can measure it easily. And here, uh, to me, this is kind of in between, say, like 134 and 135, it's somewhere in between there. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it at 134 degrees, somewhere about there. And now we'll measure the angle formed between the chord and the tangent. And let's see, we'll see here when we measure that. That looks to me right about 65, 66, 67 degrees, 67 degrees. And if I compare the relationship between these two angles, uh, we can conclude that the angle formed between a chord and a tangent line will be half of its arc or conversely we can say that the measurement of the arc is twice the measurement of an angle formed between a chord and a tangent line. It's pretty much the same relationship that we saw with uh, inscribed angles. Uh, the only difference between here is that an in this is not an inscribed angle because first of all one side of the angle is 
not inside of the circle, uh, but it does have the same characteristics that the angle with the vertex that's on the circle itself will be half the measurement of its arc. So here we can say the measurement of angle A, B, C is half of the measurement of arc uh, A, B. Or we can say the measurement of arc AB will be two times the measurement of angle ABC. And that is the uh, purpose here that we're trying to demonstrate. We want to see what is the relationship here. And this is what we're looking at uh, as far as the relationships. It's very much the same thing that we saw with inscribed angles. But uh, there we go. This is not an inscribed angle, but it does have the same characteristics of angle measurements.